Welcome to the 2013 Ultimate Adventure. I'm Rick Payway. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Peterson's Four Wheel and Off-Road. Adventure is ultimate because it's not just riding along the road to go four-wheeling. We actually live out of our vehicles for a week at a time, camping out in the, in the woods or in the swamp or in the rocks and wheeling every other day, combining it with the road days. What that does is gives 50 people and 25 rigs a chance to really build some sort of a group camaraderie. We only have a few rules on Ultimate Adventure. Number one, no whining. Number two, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Number three, if you wear black, you're going to die. When I lay out the route for Ultimate Adventure, I actually do it like an Ultimate Adventure of my own. I actually have to go to each state, figure out where I want to go, figure out what the best four-wheeling place is, figure out what the coolest roads are, find the neatest obstacles, backtrack, almost run out of gas, get stuck. Because the Ultimate Adventure isn't a scripted road cruise. Anything can happen and anything will happen. Otherwise, it's not an adventure. Every year we build a project vehicle to lead the group. This time we selected a Ford F-250 Super Duty. Technical editor Fred Williams oversaw the build at Shapers Off-Road in Northern California. Fred tore the truck apart and rebuilt it to UA standards with portal axles, 40-inch tires, and a shortened bed. We called it Project Super Duty. So this year's ultimate adventure was the Southern Tour. We went to Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. We camped out for five straight nights. We were in the bugs and the mud and the heat and the humidity. Vehicles overheated, people overheated. There's six new teams of two guys each that come on this trip that never have been here before except for one, and that's a returning reader. Hi, I'm Jimmy Jack. I'm from Northern California. Tony Carvalho from Amherstburg, Canada. We are driving my 1959 Willys CJ YJ TJ Jeep. Hey, I'm Aaron Duncan from Crescent City, California. I'm Dan Allard, I'm his co-driver. We're driving a 2002 Toyota Tacoma, slightly modified, the brightest color I could find. My name is Alan Buchholz from Rochester, Minnesota. I'm Jeff O'Brien from Rochester, Minnesota. We'll be driving Alan's CJ 10A pickup. My name is Arthur. Uh, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, and this is my co-driver, Steve. He's from Bow, Washington. I'm VJ Perrin. I'm Travis Bennett. Oh, we're driving a 1985 Chevy Cug V. Hi, I'm Ken Smith, and I'm an invited reader. I'm Daniel Page, and I'm his co-pilot. We're driving my 48 Willis with a Buick 231 T18 and a 18 transfer case with Dana 44s and 35-inch mud grapplers. I'm Eric Miller from Cumberland, Maryland. This is Robert Jury, I'm a co-driver. We're driving a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and we're one of the readers participating this year. Another important group are the sponsors. They're the ones that help fund the ultimate adventure. They come along on the trip, have a great time. They help us out with parts and services that some of the vehicles need during the trip as well as before. I'm uh, Cooper Rasmussen with Off-Road Power Products. We are the official retailer for this year's ultimate adventure. I'm Brian Howell. I get to be the co-driver this year. We're driving a 2009 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited with a 4BT Cummins in it that we built up uh, for last year and it is uh, grown up a little bit this year. My name is Rich Conlon with Complete Off-Road. We got a 2008 JK that we prepared for Farron Tidwell from Bubba Rope. And, uh, Bubba Rope is the official snatch rope for the Ultimate Adventure 2013. I'm T.R. Burris, Midwest Sales Manager with ARB USA, driver. Uh, Matt Glass, I'm the co-driver for ARB. I'm the media and PR specialist. We're driving our 2012 four-door JK, outfitted with our suspension system, front and rear bumpers, uh, roller door system, freezer fridges, and uh, a few goodies in the diffs called air lockers. Carter Reeve with BDS Suspension. We are the official suspension of the 2013 Ultimate Adventure. And I'm the co-driver, Dave DeVormer, and this is our 2005 Jeep KJ CRD. We've been wrenching on this thing over the last few weeks, and we're really excited to get her out on the trail. Uh, my name is Vern Simons, and I'm driving Rescue One, a field service vehicle. Uh, and I'm a feature editor for JP Magazine. 
and the vehicle belongs to Discount Tire, but I'm just out here driving it. Hi, my name is Carl Montoya. I'm with Nitro Gear and Axle. We're the official Gear and Axle sponsor for the Ultimate Adventure. We uh, brought our Land Cruiser BJ73 that we just built, finished, you know, right before the trip. We came from Washington State. The vehicle actually was imported from Spain. It's a diesel. It's got a lot of modifications, coilover, suspension, uh, the works. My name is Mel Wade. I'm representing Nitto Tire. They're the official tire sponsor of the Ultimate Adventure. We're driving a 2001 GMC uh, Z71. We built this for Petersons back in, uh, I would say 2008 for the Ultimate Adventure. Uh, we did a little facelift on it. I've been wheeling it for a shop rig for a while. Uh, we got the new DOT Nitto tires on there, the DOT uh, K-Spec tires. Uh, we'll be running that this week. Looking forward to seeing how they work in the mud. My name is Stephen Watson with Offroad Design. I'm James Watson, co-driver. Vehicle is the Blazer. I started driving it when I was in high school. Started dreaming up ideas of things to make it better when I was in college. And when I got out of college, I started actually doing that, making things better. And that was the beginning of Offroad Design. I'm Dave Schlossberg. I'm here representing Synergy Manufacturing this year for the 2013 Ultimate Adventure. Yeah, I'm Lance Clifford uh, from El Dorado Hills, California. My name is Corby Phillips. I'm uh, driving the Warren UA JK today. Uh, Warren's the official winch sponsor of the UA. Fred Perry, I'm from Clemson, South Carolina. I uh, own Clemson Four Wheel Center. I've been a Warren distributor since 1970, so I wheedle my way in through Warren every year with the Ultimate. The hardest working guys on the trip are indeed the cronies. My name's Keith Bailey. I'm from Mount Olive, Alabama. This is the 10th UA uh, attended. I'm Tom Boyd. I'm from San Diego. I'll be taped in the back most of the trip. Chris Durham, I'm from South Carolina. I've been here eight times for the UA. My name's Trent McGee. I'm from uh, Glendale, Arizona. One of two guys that's been on every single Ultimate Adventure. My name is Tim Hardy, and I'm from the Georgetown area of California. My name's David Chappelle. This is my fourth Ultimate Adventure. I came out as San Diego. Sam Gillis. I'm a uh, little town, Mount Olive, Alabama. This year's my 10th year anniversary, uh, looking forward to it. They're the group that's been with me for more than one or two Ultimate Adventures. They'll go to the tail end of the trip, usher everybody along, they'll stop on the side of the road, help fix your rig. They're the ones that do all of the real work on the Ultimate Adventure. The first day in Ultimate Adventure is check-in day. This is where everybody gathers from all across the country to have me look at their vehicle and make sure that it's allowed to go on Ultimate Adventure. They have to have minimum of 35 inch tall tires, a self recovery winch mounted up front, lockers front and rear, some sort of a roll bar or roll cage, and of course things like a radio, a spill kit, seat belts, a jack, a spare tire, and all that kind of stuff. So I make sure they have it all. Our first trail day started early Sunday morning. Drove about 15 miles out to Morris Mountain Off-Road Vehicle Park. Our first obstacle is the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's named that because there's three places, good line, bad line, and a really ugly line. Of course, everybody has their choice of which one they have to go, but there is no bypasses. You have to attack it. After the good, the bad, and the ugly, we just went on a few little up and down trails. There's a lot of these at the park, and they just kind of get you ready for what's coming next. Tim Hardy is one of our all-time favorite cronies. He likes to run low tire pressure. Everybody loves to run low tire pressure because it gives you better traction. The trouble is, Tim doesn't run bead box, and he's running maybe one pound, two pounds of pressure. Sometimes he'll even pull out the cores and run negative pressure. That's because his vehicle is so light. Unfortunately, he does tend to peel a bead off once or twice. <laughs> yeah, on this one trail, he did it five times.
he was constantly reseating his beads. He's an expert at it though. He can get it done before the next vehicle even gets back up on the trail. This is part of the stuff that happens. That's why we have winches, snatch blocks, tree savers. Of course, it always helps when you have a few buddies out here with you. Mel Wade from Nitto Tire was taking his truck all the way up Lost Prima. Fortunately, it has a tree in the way, so Mel decided to go take a different line. Well, we were over here on the can opener and uh, kind of wedged around, so uh, it's kind of a momentum thing. Long wheelbase, not too good for there. But I think we uh, did a little custom body work here and on the underside. I think it still looks pretty good. The last obstacle of the day was RBD. It stands for roll back down because it's a real steep cliff face. What you have to do is go up to it, bump it, and then just get in it. Stay in it and commit. Otherwise, you'll sit and spin and probably slide right back down. Whereas the momentum will take you up. adventure. This is roll back down, RBD. Most of the vehicles have been coming up. A few had to go on mall crawl. A couple even had to go out on the bypass. All in all, no one's broken on this one yet, so it's been a good day. Once everybody got back to the hotel, they started fixing their rigs. We're talking everything from just minor stuff to major stuff, like ring and pinions. Because the next morning, 7 in the morning, we start on a 300-mile road trip to areas that nobody knows of except me.